Welcome to Hometown Teams where we build rosters for NFL franchises using only local players and by local I mean in state. Today we kick things off with the Atlanta Falcons as Georgia is home to the most NFL players out of a state which is home to only one NFL franchise. So let's get on with this thing. So we start with our left tackle Cordy Glenn out of Riverdale, Georgia and he stayed local for college too, going to Georgia. And at left guard we have James Carpenter out of Augusta, Georgia and he went to college in Alabama so he stayed south but he did not stay home. And then we move on to our center, David Andrews, who's out of Johns Creek, Georgia, and he, just like Cordy Glenn, went to Georgia as well. Then at right guard, we have Trey Jackson out of Jessup, Georgia, a current free agent who went to Florida State, and that tells you a little bit about the strength of the right guard position from what has been right now a very strong offensive line so far. And it picks back up at the right tackle position with a true alpha hometown player, Jawan James out of Atlanta, Georgia, who went to college at Tennessee. Then at tight end, a little bit disappointing, our best option here, CJ Uzuma out of Suwanee, Georgia, who went to college at Auburn. And then onto the wide receivers, and we start with Demarius Thomas out of Montrose, Georgia, who stayed in state, went to Georgia Tech. Lining up across from him, we have Malcolm Mitchell out of Aldosta, Georgia, who went to Georgia. And in the slot, what we have Tyreek Hill who was born in Lauderhill, Florida. Wait, what? So although Tyreek Hill's place of birth is Florida, I'm not going to argue with what it says on Wikipedia and where he went to high school. It says he's a native of Pearson, Georgia, and he attended Coffee High School in Douglas, Georgia. So by all means, he is included in this team. And it's good we got that out of the way because Mike Tolbert was born in Centerville, Ohio. But again, another guy who went to high school in Georgia, went to college at Coastal Carolina. And then our running back Isaiah Crowell brings it back to the non-technicalities out of Columbus, Georgia, went to college at Alabama State. And then our quarterback Cam Newton brings it all back with another alpha hometown selection. Coming out of Atlanta, Georgia, went to college at Florida, Blinn in Texas and Auburn. And that completes the offense. And let's move on to the defense. So at free safety here, we're keeping it rolling with Eric Berry out of Atlanta, Georgia, went to college at Tennessee. Then a strong safety, Morgan Burnett out of Memphis, Tennessee. Again, this is Wikipedia telling me he's a native of College Park, Georgia. And who am I to argue with such a solid foundation of knowledge? Also went to college at Georgia Tech, but he's not even our number one choice here. Our true number one strong safety is another Atlanta guy, Rashad Jones, and he went to college at Georgia as well. Kicking it off with the linebackers, we have Leonard Floyd out of Eastman, Georgia, who went to Georgia. Then we have Robert Mathis, of course, recently retired out of Atlanta, Georgia, who went to Alabama A&M. And leading that pack is Thomas Davis out of Shelman, who went to Georgia. At middle linebacker, we have Wesley Woodyard out of LaGrange, Georgia, who went to college at Kentucky. And ahead of him, Alec Ogletree out of Noonan, Georgia, who also went to Georgia. Georgia. Kicking it off at left outside linebacker, we have Bruce Irvin out of Atlanta, who went to West Virginia. Then ahead of him, Telvin Smith out of Valdosta, Georgia, and he went to Florida State. And leading them all, we have a man who stayed in state for college, Justin Houston out of Statesboro. Kicking off the defensive line, we have Charles Johnson out of Hawkinsville, who went to college at Georgia. Then we have Alan Bailey out of Sapello Island, who went to college at Miami. Then over at the left end position, it's no fun if it's all easy, Cameron Hayward born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but he went to high school in Sewanee, Georgia. His father died in Atlanta, Georgia. Sounds like the guy's from Georgia. Then we have our first actual hometown hero here, Vic Beasley here out of Adairsville, Georgia, who went to college at Clemson. And we immediately follow that up with another true hometown hero, Grady Jarrett out of Conyers, who of course also went to college at Clemson. So the guys had a chance there for a perfect record but went to college out of state. So starting off the cornerbacks, we have Leotis McKelvin out of Waycross, Georgia, who went to college at Troy. Then we have Kareem Jackson out of Macon, who went to college at Alabama. And then our nickel corner, AJ Boy out of Tucker, Georgia, went to UCF. But that, of course, is not the strongest team we can build here. We are yet to add Casey Hayward out of Perry, Georgia, who went to Vanderbilt. And we finish it all off with Darius Slay out of Brunswick, Georgia, who went to college at Mississippi State. And this is the hometown team for the Atlanta Falcons, made up exclusively out of guys from Georgia and exclusively some guys who went to high school in Georgia but weren't necessarily born in the state. But here's the rule, if you were eligible to pay in-state tuition at Georgia or Georgia Tech or any other state college, you are eligible for this team and all of these players are. And these are the hometown heroes of Georgia, the Peach State, the Atlanta Falcons. And it's a very strong team and it's a very good start to this series. There's plenty more of these to come. Some of these will of course find themselves in a battle for which franchise has the right to claim these hometown players for states such as Texas, California, Ohio. But that's all part of the fun and it's all part of this series.